Hello and welcome to the final episode of the 3-in-1 hair accessory. You already have seen tutorial for the headband as well as this big hair rose accessory thingy. Today we are going to focus on this little fellow. Here it is, like I said, it's a bit tiny, but because of that it's very versatile. You can either wear it as its own in casual cords, or you can combine it with other things to make it look a bit more snazzy. And I think that this would look very beautiful as a brooch as well, not just a hair accessory. For the whole project you will need a headband and some lace. I have three different types, these are all cotton lace some felt, a marking pen, scissors, I have my rose that already has its clip if you don't have a rose or whatever decoration that already has a clip you will need clips and I have some pearls and grow green ribbon in the colors of your choice. For the smallest clip you're going to need a clip of your choice, wider ribbon, and thinner ribbon, I'm using grow grain, and some pearls. I started by making a small bow. I've shown you how to make bows before, but basically you want to take a piece of ribbon, fold it so that the ends overlap for a couple millimeters, sew from the middle, and then fold to both directions, and there you have a bow shape. And then I used my thinner ribbon to kind of go around it to really make the bow shape. So it's really that simple. So I have my bow and next I want to cut my ribbon because I want to make this really similar to the bigger headpiece that I made so that they match. So I'm going to cut this into a V shape. And when I have the shape I want, I'm going to take my craft lighter and go over both edges so that they won't fray. Just lightly go over and then kind of tug to see if it frays, if it doesn't that's good. You don't want to put too much fire into this or it will start to melt in series. So now that I have my bigger ribbon I'm going to take a piece of thinner ribbon and then I'm going to sew them together like so, so that the shape is again really similar to the one of the big headband. Now that I have my ribbons together, I'm going to put my needle through with still the same thread and I'm going to sew my bow to the very top. Now that I have my bow in place, I'm going to come with my thread from under the bow. I'm gonna take my needle off because now I'm going to sew in my thread of beads. I just put some basic, <laughs> basic, basic black beads. Mine are eight millimeters and put put them on string and now I'm going to tie these strings to the string that is coming from under my bow. And lastly you'll want to attach your clip either with glue or by sewing but my clip doesn't have the holes for thread so I'm gonna go ahead and glue it to the back of my bow. Thank you. 
and I don't want to glue it to the very edge because then the clip will show so by gluing it a tiny bit under the edge it's gonna stay hidden better and once your glue dries your bow is done and that is it for this week's tutorial and I will see you again next Wednesday.